All right, we are back now with more of today on this Tuesday, and we're talking about second chances. If you've ever thought about completely shaking things up, baby, and starting over, you have come to the right place. Yeah, author and TV personality Lisa Gibbons is here to tell you why it is never too late to do, do just that. She's written this great book. It's called Take, Take two. two, Your Guide to Creating <laughs> Happy Endings and All New together now. Endings. Take, Take two. two. And she should know. Like, it is so great to see you again. And you two right. girls. You know, I love you both, up, by the way. Yes, she does. Yeah. And it's, it's, this is one of the, yeah, you're one of those that has had new lives, uh, nine new lives, you know, it's, it all should, it's all all should be starting take over. nine. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, at any time you can call for a redo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all about reinvention. I really think so. So what inspired this particular book? Because it's not your first book by any means. But you know what? This one was really about, you know, I guess it all started when mom got Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and then I got divorced and then I left my job. My daughter left home. It was the beginning of Empty Nest and I realized I needed to show up in my life and right. be somebody, for, for me, yeah. in a different way. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And I think that happens for a lot of us. Well, a especially, of, excuse me, Hoda, she's mm. just such a caregiver. Yeah, that's what When you, you have been giving, 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 and all of a sudden it's about you, you're a little lost, aren't you? I didn't mm -hmm. mean to interrupt, sweetheart. I think we fall in love with somebody we used to be when we were thinner, richer, married, made mm -hmm. more money. And we oh, left her, or <laughs> mm -hmm. or we hated who we used to be. Yeah. And I say, break up with yourself. Uh -huh. You know, forget her. Create who you need to be now so that you can become the person you need to be going forward. Yeah. And that's what this book is about. And for a lot of people, you don't get to choose if someone you love is sick. Right. Right? right. Because yes. that's chosen for you. But a lot of people are scared of taking that leap because a lot of people probably do know there's another chapter, but they are completely stuck in a rut. And it's hard to have the courage, I guess, like you did, to break out of something and say, you know what, I'm going to try something brand new and see how that works. We do this with our electronics, with our computers. If the things aren't running right, something we new. get it. Yeah. Yeah. We know that we've got to hit the reset button. We right. know we've got to delete files, put in some new programming. Well, let's do that. Let's delete the people that don't support our dreams. Mm -hmm. The negative. Put the in negativity. some programming that says you can be smarter, stronger, sexier than mm -hmm. ever before. No regrets. Mm -hmm. no what about excuses. people that don't have any means? Right. They're sort of, say it's a... Uh, it's, it's a woman who's got, worked mm -hmm. so hard just to raise her her kids, being mm -hmm. single, and they finally. Uh, then what does she do if she doesn't have a bank account she can go to or right. family what members that, to help? What's Tell them what's it about. It's about drop the dread. It's about banishing the blame. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to start by claiming victory over victimization. It's really That's easy big. to we go We become there. a victimized talk, culture. Yeah, talk about that, though, because people do feel like victims in their life. All the terrible and they things live there. happen to me. They right. live there. We do, because that's easier. You know, you're just going to shut the door, pull the covers up over yeah. your head, and say, you know, I can't. It's too late for me. Yeah. Too much baggage. Who's going to want me? Who's going to hire me? Right. All of those things. Little baby steps. That's when you need to grow your courage. And by the way, if you are that caregiver, mm -hmm. um, we're doing this series, Conversations in Caregiving. Mm -hmm. It's the third year that we've done it, you guys. And it's uh, registration is open right now. And we've done this with Novartis Pharmaceuticals. AlzheimersDisease.com mm -hmm. is where it's happening. This is all free stuff that we just mm -hmm. do to help caregivers. And we want to answer your questions. They're all live webcasts. Mm -hmm. The first one's coming up July 9th, and mm -hmm. we're doing it again in September and October. So this is where you can find out how to deal with that part of your life. Right. So if that's you, yeah. we want to help you mm -hmm. with it. Okay. There's so many unanswered Some, questions yeah. still about all yeah. yeah. How long was it with your mom? How many years? Ten years Ten with years. my mom. Yeah. More than that with my granny. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. if that's your second act, if that's your do-over, you then yeah. you really do. So deal with that go. stuff, and then you can recreate because you deserve it. Yeah. You really do. Hit yeah. the reset button. Yeah. Good for you. Well, Lisa, thank you sure for coming to see you. Better than sure ever. Did. Great to see you, Lisa. And you too.